Right, let's get to the latest on India's moonshot, Chandrayaan-3. Well, in an un unexpected turn of events, the Indian Space Agency made Vikram uh, took a rare hop on the moon. Now, Vikram, uh, which had been sitting at the Shiv Shakti point, as the Prime Minister has named it now, was woken up and on command from the ISRO, it was made to take off vertically and then land 30 to 40 centimetres away. The Vikram rose uh, by about 40 centimetres and then landed close by. ISRO says this kickstart enthuses future sample return and human missions as well. That absolutely stunning visual of the hop on the moon released by ISRO. And Pallav Bagla is now joining us live uh, on the broadcast. Mr. Bagla, uh, what a stunning visual there uh, released by the ISRO. And in a sense, uh, you know, the Vikram lander has exceeded its mission objectives, as the ISRO says. Well, uh, break it down for us. What is this hop all about? Well, it's not just a hop. It is a giant leap by the Indian Space Research Organization. The mission was to soft land Vikram on the lunar surface once. Now, after the experiments were completed on Vikram and Pragyan, there was enough fuel left on Vikram, and this is a, a lithium liquid fuel. So the Vikram was made to wake up. Its engines were fired once again. It rose up from the surface of the moon, and then it came down 30 to 40 centimeters away on the Shiv Shakti point, a little distance away. This was all demonstration of sophisticated technology that India could reawaken Vikram and then make a vertical lift off and have a vertical landing on the lunar surface on command. So this is really paving the way in future if India has to do a sample return mission from the moon, this would be one step towards that. So it is a small step an essential learning towards sample return and essential learning if India has to ever send Indians to the moon and bring them back safely. All of this is part of that learning. But what an amazing turn of events that a mission which is under 700 crore rupees, all objectives accomplished and towards the end, ISRO makes Vikram pop and land once again. So now then we can say we can say that ISRO has done two successful soft landings nearer the south pole of the moon. A feat which would be very hard for any other nation to to follow up on. On maiden two successful soft landings, one after the other, even though the second one was a short hop, but this hop is really a giant leap in technology demonstration by India. Mr. Bagra, it's very, very significant what you're saying that, you know, it's not just one soft landing, but two soft landings that were successfully achieved by ISRO and also in a sense shows the sophisticated technology that's actually involved and the precision that uh, that's involved in it. Uh, but uh, very quickly, we were talking about the mission objectives. So if you can actually sum it up for us, what all has, uh, you know, the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover achieved uh, in the past uh, couple of days, if you can sum it up for our viewers. One of the biggest objectives was to demonstrate soft landing, and that had its geopolitical messaging. That was accomplished uh, that evening when Vikram safely soft landed. After that, there were several scientific experiments. All the scientific experiments were completed by Vikram and Pragyan, and Pragyan moved about 100 meters on the moon surface. Uh, the Pragyan rover is six wheel and it travels at a very high velocity of one centimeter uh, per second. Mm. So it's a really fast, fast moving uh, object on the moon surface. But yes, it did a wonderful job. So it is a dream run for both the Pragyan rover and the Vikram lander. And the second hop is really an icing on the cake by the Indian Space Research Organization. Amazing demonstration of Indian technology on the moon surface. 
Absolutely, Mr. Bagla. And uh, as you were mentioning, you know, amazing demonstration of, uh, you know, India's uh, space mission and its sophistication. What next? Yeah, because now, of course, we've also seen that, you know, the Aditya L1 has been successfully launched and it was, uh, you know, it's been placed in that orbit. What next? Where do you see India's space mission going from here now? Well, let's, let's still stay with Chandrayaan 3, uh, the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover. Pragyan rover has already been put to sleep. It is right. close to the Vikram lander. It, will, it is ready to wake up uh, when the lunar dawn happens. The Vikram lander, after the hop, has been placed sufficiently and it will also be probably put to sleep. And then the propulsion module of Chandrayaan 3 continues to orbit the moon. It will get back data. And all the scientific data from the Pragyan and Vikram seems to have been brought back to uh, Bangalore. The scientists will look at it. And even as this was happening, if this was a giant leap, then India took an even bigger giant leap by attempting to send the probe all to study the sun with Aditya L1. Aditya L1 was successfully launched. It is on the way to, this, uh, to the parking orbit nearer to the Earth to study the sun and uh, the Aditya L1 and Chandrayaan 3 both are healthy and all the mission objectives towards that are being fulfilled one after the other and Vikram has gone way beyond the mission objectives and so very heartening that at a frugal cost India could achieve such an important task of making the Vikram hop on the moon surface.